Alright, hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough on Brutal Difficulty, blind playthrough that is. We have uh, just arrived at the Uriclus, uh, Uric 5 uh, station and we need to free it from the, world will bow. Um, the people that have... Um, Mutiny done it. <clears throat> Anyways, the biggest problem that we're facing is we do not have any mad kids, so we gotta be a little bit careful with what we're doing. I the whispers told me a secret. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Oh, come on. Time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. All right, fresh sample of Navigator. Damned warp! If we'd been in real space, I'd have heard. I'd have. Spare me your wailing, witch! Every voice that sounds in your mind is a whisper of the arch enemy. Good. Can I please disable that? I think. The Emperor sets my path. She was here to disable traps. Blessed be the road that we take. <clears throat> Duty prevails. All right, collecting quite a few um, extra items. Let's seize the opportunity. Favors me today. Experience. Nothing matters more. All right, we got ourselves some goods. Uh, the wearer gains a bonus to persuasion. And we currently do have tech use, but this here would be persuasion. Uh, and persuasion might be more helpful at this point. Powers unseen uncover my path. Broken ribs, crippled leg. Well, well done, Saiken. Let me tell you something. I don't want to deal with that. We're going the back to the... Uh, ship. Compared to naval I'll be service, right back. That was bit. Good. We regained all of our health on the ship, which is a nice little feature. I you can basically just uh, get that back. And I learned Who another that thing. Was a good idea? Predictable. I learned another thing on the ship. Uh, we got fatigued. Well, cool. Uh, anyways, I learned another thing on the ship, uh, which basically is we can. Uh, deposit all of the small weapons in cargo. I don't yet know what uh, that Let's exactly is doing, the opportunity. but uh, maybe we can sell them a little bit later. Did you hear the screams? Move. <clears throat> so are you alright? We can hear anything. Okay, not good. Is it time for... Is it time for chaos? Death to the traitors? Traitors, all of you, you told me they whispered, hey, who are you? Uh, that guy is highly, highly mental unstable. And why do we... What the... Why do we even entertain that? Okay, so we got... Standard laser guns. Put them directly into cargo. Will bow. We 
What does that thing do? Data crypt age okay. Ooh, a machine shrine. I like to see that. The Cogiator's wit screen is covered in crocs and strained with dried blood. Buttons and switches and levers were ripped out of the control panel with the exception of cruelty and scattered around the sacred mechanism that now sparks and hisses in agony, still refusing to perish. Awaken the Cognitor. Return for a few remaining dials and pull the activation lever. Crack the screen of the few engines flicker. The cogitators uh, inside emit a cracking groan and lumens and oscillate at random. It takes a while, but eventually the machine spirits do grant you access to the cogitator's system. Main elevator controls. Activate the elevator. Confirmed. Examine the lock. Ah, not that interesting. Switch to main chamber controls. Open all doors on the level. And we're using logic. Uh, the width screen lights up with a uh, smattering and unfamiliar green symbols and you hear a, a particular um, click from somewhere behind you. It appears that the doors have been opened. Um, good. Felix Orselius, main hall alive. Theobald Orselius, upper chambers alive. And the rest is deceased. Okay, cool. Embrace true power. Let's first of all I shall not be deterred. Lesson learned. Come on. I better myself through my service. Good. Lots and lots and lots of goods. What do we have here? A long glass. Two-handed ranged. Ooh. Dodge reduction. Hello there. And carapace chest, please. Uh, the character wearing this armor will dodge. 35 of the average enemy attacks in this chapter. Okay. This armor reduces incoming attacks. I like to see that. And I think we just got ourselves a massive upgrade. Question is... Rate of fire 4, rate of fire 1. So that's just, quote unquote, a sniper rifle. But I'm wondering... If we give our character a sniper rifle, maybe he is actually good with them. Um, Unfading Valor is too good of a weapon to not use it. Okay, and then we do have a better armor that allows us to dodge more often. Oh yeah, Saiken is getting equipped. Mainly we're exchanging his absolute terrible stuff with a little bit better stuff. Okay, lots of servants and we got UVE. UVE has his uh, tongue cut off, just like the rest of the lesser servants of the house or sell you. Well, that's one way of doing it. Intriguing. Lesson that I've learned from Warhammer is people are generally Let's treated like shit in this universe. Ah, oh, okay. 
unedible formation. Okay, cool. Well, we're using this one here. Good, I'm just wondering, the is there anything else bow. that we can do here? I think we've opened all of the doors. This is a bit of a dead end. Well, we've opened the elevator, so I suppose we can now move Power through the elevator. Uncover my path. Heresy found uh, its uh, way into here. I tread a path unexplored. Triumphant as always. Good, Felix. <clears throat> control rod is required. Intriguing. Hmm, okay, yeah, we needed the control rod. The question is, do we have the control rod? Data crypt. We got this here, which is part of the control rod. Info. And that looks sort of like a control rod. Hmm. All right, so we restart the elevator. The elevator control rod can be rebuilt in the laboratory using blood and a sacred mechanism. Where is the lab? The world trembles beneath my feet. Perfection. Let's seize the opportunity. Okay, and I assume this here has not unlocked. No, it has unlocked. I did assume incorrectly. I thought we were unlocking everything. Good, now we need to get to the laboratory. Uh, it can't be that far. Right? The world will bow. For some reason, uh, the arc enemy's twisted influence has found its way into the station. So, <clears throat> there is some demonic sh going on here. Good, maybe we can find the laboratory this way. Um, main chamber controls, open all doors. That sounds plausible, and whilst we're at it... No. Yeah, nothing here really... Nothing here really worked, but we can at least open that uh, that main door. I was hoping that this door here, for instance, would uh, open up, but apparently that's not even a door. That's just intriguing. That's just texture for a wall. Anyways, off to the laboratory. Uh, this looks like a laboratory. 
Thalia stings. Someone disrupted an experiment in the most brutal fashion. It is impossible to determine what was in there. Another data uh, piece. Another flash sample, which, by the way, I'm not a hundred percent sure what a psi crystal. What all those flash samples are doing. And biogel, black water. Ugh. Okay. The world trembles beneath my feet. Good. We got adamantine. Uh, we got a laboratory journal. Research note, more and more servants are being influenced by the immaterium and it has nothing to do with a child more frequent tantrums. Okay. Embrace true power. So, what's your story? They all, they just lost their mind. Please don't kill me. Okay. <clears throat> Before we're doing anything there, the question that I'm asking myself is, what can we do? Quest updated. Okay, remake the rod. Control rod and restores its power to the elevator. It's time to take the keeper and descend. Okay, but there's clearly some more stuff that can be done. Hmm, that's interesting. So, what do we have here? Test exhibits signs of acute stress. Majority perish of blood loss within days. Place in the laboratory chamber. Child's um, the sacred child's resonance died several chrono turns later. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think it is time for some fuckery. We don't have a reagent flask. That's that's not good. We got a catalyst. That is good. We have a couple of data uh, crypt connectors and a few tish, uh, tissues that seems good as well and we got a couple of transducers so the only thing that we're missing is a reagent flask well Cassias Medici you are excused I for now unexplored This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Oh. That seemed to have been a hidden compartment. The world will bow. Alright. Keep in mind, if we find a reagent glass, we are going to do some experimentation there. Ruinous favor prevails. Intriguing. Alright. We have a, a control rod. What is even going on? Okay. Control rod. Uh, you, my dear. No. You, my dear. This is unacceptable. I refuse. What? This is beneath me. I am not afraid to embrace the revelations that make others you have control rod. and cover. What is that wrong? is the difference between me and ignorant filth. Hmm. 
You dealt with the threat of the and power of the elevator. Well done. I trust you brought the activation rod. Remember, every second uh, of hesitation costs my mistress' lives. Okay. There are two paths, both stained with blood, both leading uh, to an accused eye. To all um, wear masks, so poor and flimsy, they fall in the slightest touch. One hiding a blind man, another a traitor. Tell me more. What path? Cannot say. One is paved with blind faith, the other one with hatred and tragedy. Okay. The station has enough problems with your sorcery psyker. Um, hand over the key. Thank you. I don't even know what to say. Status and honor prevented me from admitting it before, but you have awoken hope in me. I hope you might actually leave the station together with my mistress, which um, is why I'm about to ask a favor of you. Uh, the lowly insurgents got the hands on a weapon that suppresses the navigator's powers. Um, their absence makes me a living target. But this weapon is useless against you. A bunch of lunatics, um, as a bunch of lunatics are wielding it, I humbly ask you to deal with the scum huddling upstairs and hurry to adorn my mistress. Um, okay. Fair enough. Recent event have badly disturbed Lady Cassia's psyche and warp entities always lust for weaker souls. Especially when evil can grow. You two will be safe next to the charm. Alright, we'll do that. You're going to need this charm and may the god emperor be with you. Um, what exactly can I... Can I just double check the charm, please? Thank you. Uh, okay, so where's our charm? Okay, we're just... we just got that. The pale figure with unnaturally long limbs stands uh, with her arms raised. Her hands deformed with a tail and like nails. Her deadly pale face is coated with blood and continually stre uh, streams, no, streams from her scarlet misted eyes. Her spiny gills slightly hidden under her disheld hair twitch nervously as you approach. Only now you notice that the third eye of the young woman on the forehead hidden by a jeweled ornament and when your eyes meet, you sense an overwhelming soul-smashing power. You are enveloped in a desperate grief and an invisible hand closes around your throat, cutting off your breath. Your limbs uh, seem to f uh, fill with uh, lead. Your heart hammers to your chest from the room from the station almost gets the better of you at least for a moment you master your emotions and your will pushes back against the illusion forcing it to retreat oh as if my own little pals weren't bad enough now this is bargaining with my hat someone stop her heresy by the emperor Lady Cassia, I'm here to help. Please calm yourself. What is happening? Was someone calling my name? All of these betrayers dead already are you? Who are you? Good, we introduced ourselves. She's like, pardon my manners, Saiken. Do not expect to m make such gracious acquaintance in such little time of great sorrows of the house. What is this? I feel faint. The child Cassia, were you the sacred child? Throne preserve, says Theobald. Who, by the way, has a funny head. 
Theobed is like you, the old man shifts, revealing his face. And says, my eyes fail me, for you are unable to make out you're either an enemy or an ally. I'm warning you, one wrong move and you'll bring the wrath of the house or sell you down upon your head. Iridia counters with, watch out, Captain, this one is so deranged. <clears throat> it's making the whispers shriek like crazy. He might just open an eye of his own. Arvard is like threatening the head of our destiny, uh, dynasty's great offense, esteemed whoever you are. At the present time, I'm trying to see what happened. What's in here? And he's like, I'll grant you uh, that. You do not look like pirates who have came across riches in the wrecked station or scoundrels in Felgren's service. So who are you? Rogue trader? Another rogue trader in our corner of the galaxy. How interesting. Your kind always make an appearance in desperate times. True. Given that you have come so far... Uh, not drawn your weapons, your intentions are probably peaceful. House or sell you know, um, ask service of you, save the life of the child in exchange for future cooperation. Um, what service do you ask of me? Save the secretary child, take her away from the station. I fear that I do not have long left. Uh, deliver her to Regent Ar Aranto, acting head of the house uh, or sell you in the Coronas Expanse. Such a fragile thing with such a heavy burden upon her shoulders. I want to know what happened between you and Felek. Felek is my wayward student. He came to uh, um, Uruk uh, 5 personally mentored him and trusted him with the care of the child. He was a son, uh, like a son to me, but he proved to be just another traitor. He thought uh, to steal our most precious treasure, the hair of the house, our sacred child, to revel in power with others like him. Casting the house into the abyss. You can see the fruits of his uh, villainy for yourself. He decided he was uh, not bound by his duty to the legacy of the greatness of the Novators. Um, who led the house into prosperity for countless years. Foolish boy. The renegades clouded his mind. They sought to seize control for the dynasty before the sacred child has come to age. So, choose whose side you're on. A murderous traitor. Or the lawful sign of the noble house. Felix, they accuse you of treachery, Theobald. Why should we trust your words? Defending myself before strangers, I never thought I would fall so low. If the child's life was not at stake, very well, I have no choice or proof of my innocence. I can give you my word as a member of uh, the Navis nobility. If an honest word of an honorable man counts for anything to you, I guarantee you the station against uh, calamity and incursion. Um, I force the wardens to strictly observe the security protocols. I personally selected every servant and faithfully protected the child. How could you lose control of the station? I did not trust the arrows in my face. Twice your age, twice as wise. Take my advice, trust no one but yourself and the Emperor. Even those closest to you will betray you. I believe I've made my decision. Good question. Did I make my decision? This is risky. She's clearly a little bit Delulu, and I'm not sure if I would go with her as a navigator. Hmm. He seems to speak the truth, although he has a funny hat. But <clears throat> I mentioned originally that the other guy uh, seems to be the one that. Uh, mm, that was uh, creating a mutiny. Mm. 
Yeah, let's spend with the old man. Felic is a true monster. Let's do away with him together. Allies are always welcome, even temporary ones. I will revive the child. Do not be alarmed. Uh, the powers of Horus Oselius air will help us to destroy the enemy. The world trembles beneath my feet. Well, lots of servants here. Let's seize the opportunity. Lots of defenders as well. Embrace true power. What I did not find are samples or rather vials so that we can create our own little experiments. I tread a path unexplored. Good, so Fidic Orselio Navigator and one of the keepers of the station turned out to be a traitor and the source of all trouble. It is time to punish him for his wickedness. All right, well, I Powers knew there would be a big fat fi uh, fight, my so time to do that. It's about time we repay those who betrayed the house. Come, come. Okay. Rogue trader, your treasonous worm. I knew I should have killed you. That is enough, boy. You betrayed the child, our house, the Tisiphon uh, uh, herself. Surrender. I am the savior of the house, and I'm prepared to pay the ultimate price. Kill them. All right, I figured that would go down very poorly. Your resistance is not ah, is Feb fabulous. Can I position the others? I don't know. But Abrelard is standing right there. Saiken positions himself here. Radio positions her. Radio actually positions herself there. And Argenta, what are we doing with you? I think we're positioning you. Hmm. Good question. Right over here. That way we're overloading this side. Okay, well, that seems fine. <clears throat> Let's go. Iridia is the first one to act. And these guys are plenty strong. We should clear out this side first. 42 hit points. Holy shoe. Holy shoehorn. Good. We're moving over here so that we're not so clustered up. And focus on this guy. 16 points of damage. Lovely. But of course. Starting to introduce him. Anything else? And Abelard needs Stephens. We good. Good job. Oh, 
Okay, we're definitely going to see a veil degradation here. There is no way that this is not going to go down badly. Which means as the might as well full auto out. here. Nice, very good. Emperor protects. Run and gun. That is not the Emperor's will. That is exactly the Emperor's will. Let's I'll go, baby. It. Good. Step aside. The navigator is coming. <laughs> Everybody here seems to be like an ultra psyker. Unreal. And she gave Iridia another turn. Okay. On it. Bodyguard. Very good. Onward. Stay vigilant. I think our side is definitely the stronger one. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. It will be done. Hit this guy. Nice. Very well. Indeed. It will be done. Reduce to dust. And we've cleared our side, just like how we predicted it. Got our sniper here. Ooh, so I can can actually hit a couple of these guys for a lot of damage. Nice, sixteen. That was good. Guides me. Okay, dead eye shot. I don't see the difference. Higher. Okay, might as well do dead eye shot. I will triumph. Whoa, 32. Saiken, for once, is doing really Break good damage. Funnily enough, he's doing that with Where weapons and not with his psych powers. Help me, Lord Captain. I must not falter. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. Nice. He's charging in. Alright, Iridia. Does this. And a little bit of... Uh, not good. Okay, in which case... Scout this guy. And whilst we're at it... But of course... Give a little bit more dodge over to Saiken. <laughs> okay, well... Chances of hitting them are really slim. And since they are so slim... Go might as well move to face. here. Nice, that was a hit. Good. And we're reloading. I have read tomes of military tactics. Wow, they these guys do have <clears throat> grenades. 
And a lot of other stuff. The guy ran into the fire and killed the other one. As duty demands, indeed. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I don't know if you have other brand. No, this is not the right time to to try to be. I will do my duty. The hard-boiled egg. You do not, you do not need to show off. You know, that's not bad. Giving Saiken that massive sniper rifle was one of the best decisions I've made. Wow, the guy is still alive. Nice. Weapon at the ready. Stay vigilant. Good, we're moving come. forward. And this guy just dies. <laughs> no can do. That is not my destiny. And we'll then do. we're giving ourselves dodge. On it. And we're scouting this one out. Okay, cool. Psychers are fighting each other. Rejoice in battle! Argentia moves up. 50-50 here. He does have cover, so I was thinking about using firearm mastery. <sighs> but he he's potentially going to dodge a lot of uh, the shots, Faith so the answer is no. Worse. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. Emperor, give me strength. Cassia moves into the fire. Straight up kills, almost kills herself. <clears throat> Uh, listen, I do have an idea. Maybe, just maybe. Saigon is the right guy for the heroic act Destiny this time. Destiny reshaped. Purpose guides me. Accept my offering. Whoa. Ruin beckons. Death shall reign. <laughs> that sniper rifle is so intense. I will not stoop to this. I will triumph. I reject the very idea. Well, we had a lot of extra shots left over. Duty prevails. My prescience has failed me. There is 
is movement in the Empyrean. Was... Was that you? Or... But of course. Very nice. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. I'll do it. Couple of bo uh, bullets. I like it. I and we're done. Careful not to cross my gaze. <laughs> no. This is your burden, child. Survive. <laughs> Return to the fold of your house as your destiny demands. No. Don't leave me alone in this violet brown haze. Wake up. You'll miss. He was a fine seer of the war. He fought for his mistress until the end. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Enough's enough. I've had my fill of waterworks, thank you. All right. Um, we'll give the urgency, but we should leave the station immediately. But this is my... What? Um, what are you going to do to me? Uh, you must first sign a contract you will undertake to serve <clears throat> as my navigator until I release you from that obligation. Uh, I think we're sticking with the ho house or sell you option. I beg your pardon, but what about my servants? Your Act 5 is still full of people loyal to House Orcelio. All who can be saved will be given a succor on board of my ship. All right. Hmm. Accompanying a rogue trader on their travels is an honor for any navigator. Let us go. I can no longer bear the sight of the deathly pale shadows that drape the bodies of the fallen. All right, so we got a lot of standard stuff. What else do we have? Improved enforced light carapace. That looks good. Hmm. Then we have one of those. What is this here? Staff of, uh, staff of house or sale, yo. <coughs> Gives you plus five perception on top of it, but doesn't have the lightning arc. It doesn't seem to be a great melee weapon either. You know what? Might as well. So we got laser guns, laser guns, shoddies. Oh yeah. I like it. We'll take two of those. Tactical goggles. That's a two-handed melee weapon. Uh, oh, she's a character of ours. Interesting. You know what? Might as well take those. And the normal auto guns, I don't think that we need them. Good, we got a lot of loot. Um, I'll fast forward it and give you a summary of what we are doing with it. All right, we <clears throat> gave basically all of uh, the shotguns to the casters so that they do have something to do in melee. 
but that was the logic behind it. And then a little bit of armor upgrades, but nothing major. What is important though is we now have an officer, and I think we don't have any officer. Operative, soldier, soldier, warrior. It's the first officer that we've gotten. And Ksia seems to be a psyker as well. Unknown origin. And she's a navigator, so by, by definition she's a psyker. Uh, what are her features? She does have Littlest stare or creatures in a cone in front of uh, her suffer massive amounts of damage and elsewise will be stunned that's not bad she has voice of command officer forces an ally to push forward um, one. okay increasing their characteristics by plus 14 additionally all of the officer's ability can uh, Apply a target to voice command from any distance. Okay, so that seems to be a buff. I like that. Um, let's put it down here. Bring it down. The officer immediately grants an ally an extra turn with two AP and no movement. Uh, if this ally is under the effect of voice of command, which they typically are, <clears throat> and kills an enemy before the end of officer turn, the ally gains a one-time additional Eight momentum that's fantastic and we got psychic uh, psychic abilities heroic act officer grants an ally an extra turn with full AP and MP there are no attack limits during that turn Ooh, that looks great Okay, officers seem to be good. She's dogmatic, which falls right into what we're anyways doing. And she has so far gotten Inspire Courage. Very good. So, hmm. Hmm. I mean, what is she really good at? Uh, not necessarily the intelligence stuff, so that's off the question. What is an officer good at? Uh, officers uh, have fellowship and willpower. That makes sense because they are a pure support character, and I think that definitely makes sense for her as well, giving her a kind of inspire and, and a support role. She has an awesome perception, where is her fellowship and why is it only at 40? So she could be good at uh, persuasion, commerce, coercion, which all of that Psyken can do as well. Or we're improving her psychic abilities. Hmm. Good question. Her fellowship is a little bit lacking. Character's ability to interact with others. High fellowship. Let me just double check something. Uh, that's part of uh, also understanding the system well enough. I wish it would say whether or not these things here scale off of your fellowship. Hmm. All right, listen, willpower is the easy choice here. And then we do have a couple of talents. Let me just go through them. Okay, so the navigator does have um, navigation talents and uh, there were a couple of them that I found very, very good. Uh, specifically mind over matter and pass unscathed which basically mind over matter means that your willpower determines anything that toughness would determine and pass unscathed means that your perception determines anything that agility would determine which will make her also quite tanky and we're just going to go with that on top of it uh, the more navigation talents you are taking um, the better all of the navigation talents are becoming so I'll just test that she's 
she has a few talents which will just give everybody bonuses but for starter i wanted to get those uh, two talents and that will make her a little bit better because now we're looking at uh, solid 60 willpower and with that uh, toughness is also de facto 60 so you can see um well, Kuros is still 30, but it says here um, for resistance tests and uh, she will always use willpower. Okay, that's good enough for me. I think we did very well, to be honest. Uh, we are a little bit ranged heavy in our composition, the but I mean, bow. who cares, right? Good. One last uh, thing that I would want to do is try to find if we can experiment here. Intriguing. So far things seem to be okay. I'll just explore a little bit more and let you know if we find something. My path. All right, try to do my best with uh, the experiments. Unfortunately, it failed. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Let's go back to the ship. <laughs> I like how the throne turns around. Vox Master uh, Vigidis says, Lord Captain, and the Lady Navigator, welcome on board. Uh, the Sanctum Navis has been prepared for the communication ritual, but if the Lady Navigator wishes to rest in her quarters first. The heart starts uh, beating furiously as your breath becomes short and choppy and your fingertips tingle unpleasantly. You notice that... Um, Victus is shivering slightly and the crew are glancing around in puzzlement searching for the source of that sudden wave of unease. Without even looking at the Vox Master, Cassia wave, uh, waves her away. I wish to speak to the rogue trader. Leave us. Of course, when you're ready for the ritual, please let me know. Cassia sweeps her passive gaze over Victus, then lowers her lashes slightly, turns to you. What do you want to speak uh, with me about? With a few seconds of hesitation, Cassia lets out a small exhale, then raises her chin. I have not yet thanked you for saving me in the station. My thoughts were clouded so much. Uh, mm, uh, mournful ash when Theobald's heart stopped, but you acted honorably and did uh, not exploit my wretched position. And for that I'm immeasurably grateful. I'm also deeply grateful that you saved my servant, especially uh, my valet. You've served me on the station more than five years, much longer than anyone uh, preceding him. He knows how to properly attend me during the journeys through the Immaterium and uh, what to serve me for breakfast. His preference envelops me in a cloak of amber. But now, Cassia throws back her shoulders, I'm ready to go to the Sanctum Navis and perform the sacred rite. I require brushes, canvas and the best paints you have on board, but no red. I shall ensure you have the necessary supplies. Um, I shall uh, take my leave uh, of you for the duration of the ride. I ask, uh, do not follow me. Few can survive the gaze of the warp eye when it is opened. Lord Captain, I will oversee the open channel between the Levi ne Lady Navigate and the bridge, and may the Emperor's light help us all. Yeah, the navigation is a real problem. Okay, cool. So I think we've um, done what we needed to do in Euro 5. And the communication, come here, you've... 
I see violet vortexes slashing, an ocean with million flails, and an umber shadow spinning over the surface of a fierce dance, a storm rising above foaming water, armadas drowning in the fog. The path from one end to another cannot be seen. And here beyond the wall of glass, a daughter forsaken by her father yearns for her brother, and the sun pale disc goes tireless in pursuit. Of her? No, of me, the frozen rays lie, that spring is here. The light is deadened, the great ruler is gone. Alright, Voxmaster Vigitus says, My jet apologies for cutting off the broadcast, Lord Captain. Never heard the warp speaking through the navigator before. The connection is restored now. It will not happen again. Cassia, are you alright in there? It, it appears the servants were part of Lady Navigator's ride, as it was for her predecessor. I will arrange for the bodies to be removed from the Sanctum Navis after the ritual or what is left of them. Rogue trader, I fear I have unfortunate news. Endless beckoning has spread across the canvas, dividing what should have been whole in two. And my sight cannot glimpse the light of the Emperor as clearly as before. I cannot turn around my brush, only draws me onwards. The way is blocked. By the Emperor's grace, the ritual was successful. Your vessel's temperament presented a challenge. Its cold steel grip did not allow me to breathe freely, even for a second. It was as if the depth of the ship housed not only machine spirits, but something other. Now I will retreat to my chambers and recover my strength. Send for me if you have need of me. Lord Captain, congratulations on inquiring a navigator. Spare me a few moments of your time, please. There are several matters that require your attention. First of all, I want to report the condition of the station Yurok 5. Had you open, uh, had you open to begin your visit to the Ryok system <coughs> with a different destination, the station could have become critically unstable. Fortunately, um, the decision to immediately visit the representatives of the Navis nobility brought us a precious time. You can either send our forces to disassemble the station and proceed uh, the technological compartments for our own vessel, or attempt to save as many valuables as we can. Mm. All right, gather any components that might be of use for the ship, as you command, Lord Captain. With your permission, I would like to remind you that we are still looking for an NGC or Prime. Both the vessel and the machine spirits are in desperate need of oversight by an experienced tech priest. We are also missing some crew, and much more importantly, we've not yet located Heinrich van Kallax, the right hand of the Lord Inquisitor. Now we're sure where he that he was not on Europe 5, so keep his mind open. Thank you. That'll be all for now. Okay. Yurik 5 is already explored. And we're now flying. Lord Captain, there is some commotion in the officer's deck. The lady, lady navigator has left her quarters and is currently in the wardroom where uninitiated crew members are shunning uh, her in terror. Perhaps you should find out what brought Cassia to deck. Well, well, well. Let's do exactly that. Always something happening. We could uh, create a soap opera out of that. Oh, Lord Captain, my apologies. I, I did not notice your entrance. It's pleased to see you're adjusting to life on the ship. Compared to Yurak 5... Your ship is a boundless world of unfamiliar hues. And yet, the abundance of bright colors can at times be wearisome on the eyes. The bridge and the decks are so... clamorous. In my search for a place of quiet, I was fortunate to come upon this islet of serenity filled with rare tomes and practically devoid of color.
All right, I see you're fond of reading. Oh, this. <laughs> I found this fascinating read on one of the shelves. And I must say, it has caught my eye. It's every chapter is written in verse. I find it so beautiful and enrapturing. Yurak V had a vast archive of its own, of course. Although most of the works within had to do with scholarly disciplines of some sort or another. Only in my sparse moments of respite was I allowed to escape into the pages of more embellished works. Hmm. Are you well? One should not underestimate the navigators of House Orselio, Lord Captain. Like a shawl of pale smoke, a faint malaise hangs upon my shoulders. But it will not be the slightest hindrance to my duty to humanity, and my duty to you. Alright, I hope you have had ample of time to calm yourself and your powers. There are people on this ship who are far more impulsive and dangerous to others, and far less devoted to the God Emperor than a herald of the Navis Nobility. Hmm. But I did not need your words to see the shades of umber unease that whirl around your subjects whenever I am near. Were I not acquainted with such a reaction, I could have found their behavior in your question just now insulting. Okay, not really sure why she was triggered that much. All right, do my servants no, no. measure up to it your standard? It is not that at all, Lord Captain. It is just that Uve is quite capable of carrying out his duties by himself. He is well accustomed to my my whims and preferences. All right. Kasia cringes ever so slightly, adjusts her dormant forehead, and then awkwardly hides her clawed fingers. The unnatural appearance of a navigator oft becomes the topic of gossip. Um, it is unsurprising then. Kasia prepares the company of one who is used to how she looks. Lord Captain, would you kindly explain to me why you are pestering me with these questions inquiring about my mood and my needs showing an interest in the books i am enjoying you are behaving as if you possessed a shred of fellow feeling for one such as i i beg your pardon lord captain that was no way for a navigator to conduct herself Uh, you've nothing to apologize for. Human emotions are natural. Hmm. Oh, we could uh, hit on her. <laughs> I'm beginning to think, Lady Cassia, that the feelings I have for you are far more complicated than common sympathy. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think that we will pursue that path. All right, you have nothing to apologize for. Human emotions are natural. Please forgive me. I cannot even understand myself right now. Your words and attention have reminded me of life on the station. Of Theobald and Felek. I do not understand. They were merely the keepers of Urak V. So why do memories of those two make me feel a strange heaviness? He... At the same time... I find myself overwhelmed with new excitement and anticipation. At last, I have set foot outside my familiar walls <laughs> and into a world that I have only seen before in the pages of books. Your ship alone is a treasure trove of remarkable artifacts and curiosities. And just imagine the things that await beyond, but... <sighs> My delight must seem childish to you, surely. In your heart, you must be finding all this quite amusing. I would rather find amusing elsewhere, perhaps in the privacy of my chambers. Oh my lord, this game is pushing hard on hitting on her. 
I would not dare to make fun of feelings, especially no one who has captivated me since I first set eyes on her. Oh, wow. Okay, I understand what you're going through. My own life was uh, turned upside down not long ago. Indeed. I... I did not know. That is to say, I could not have known, as it is the first time we are speaking in a circumstance so... private. My word, when I found this place it was so full of officers. Why did they all leave? Um... Is it so bad that we're enjoying each other's company? Third time that I'm prompted to hit on her. If I may be so bold as to presume my subjects must have found themselves overcome by your rare beauty. Damn, the game is trying to push the narrative uh, on me to either tell her to sh up or to her. Hmm. I'll just be the friend, uh, the reserved professional guy, because that's how Saiken would act. Perhaps my people did not wish to disturb you. Or because my presence offends them. <laughs> then I must take my leave as well. Look at you. Kaboom. And we got ourselves a nice li little level up. Well, uh, we're going to do that the next time, uh, including also rushing towards our next destiny. Thank you so much for watching after this melodramatic one-on-one -on -one with our navigator, where I did not abuse my position of power. I um, beg you farewell, and we're going to see each other in the next episode. Thanks a lot, have a good one, and take care, guys. Bye-bye.